It is Tuesday, which means it is time for a tour. Now, I started one live, but I'm having some issues with my connectivity on my cell phone, so we are gonna do it this way. First of all, this is on an acre. We are in South Knox. This home has been completely updated. You've got the detached garage and carport, which we love, and it is on an acre, which by the way, people ask me all the time, um, essentially, Haley, how much for an acre of land with a house on it? Well, this house is listed at 344,900 and it has completely updated. It's in South Knox, so 37920 zip code and again sits on an acre so pretty great price that is less than the median price point for the knox metro area so that is awesome all right let's go inside so as you come in you have really nice updated everything essentially this house has been completely redone inside and out you've got new cabinets new countertops new paint inside and outside love the brightness of this property so this is your kitchen you have an Eden kitchen uh, island here. Tons of countertop space between the kitchen itself and this island. Loving that. Um, and then I just love the brightness of it. I love that they've added lighting, etc. We're going to go up this way in a second. But in terms of layout, so we came in the front door. You've got living area and like a little nook there. Two bedrooms. One's a primary. And then on this side, you have a screen and porch and laundry room. So if we go this way off the kitchen... We have a really nice living room. Now, in terms of size, you could totally do a large sectional in here plus a table and maybe a chair. I would probably put my TV there um, just because I don't like the idea of having my back to the window. So I personally would do a sectional here um, and then a large TV here. You do actually have room back here if you wanted to do some more seating over here. So you could do your, you know, your sectional this way and a little table or whatever there. Um, super cute, super nice, super light and bright and super open. And then just off this room is a little, now this could be one of three billion things. I personally would use this as an office. I love how bright it is. It's not too big, so I can't get too cluttered. Um, and you like, I would put probably some built-ins there. Super cute. And then we have, I mean, it's just a great room. This could also be a playroom. This could also be a guest area with a little trundle. Um, this could totally be a reading nook. I mean, you've got so many options. You could do a gym like your Peloton in here with your office. So great space here. I love the paint color they chose, by the way. It's like a, it's almost got like a little spa vibe. It's like a little light green. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. So here, if we keep walking this way through the kitchen, we have two bedrooms this is the primary because you've got an ensuite bathroom here but i'm going to go this way first so notice first of all it is a large room you could 100 percent do a king size bed in here plus some furniture because it's a guest room or a second bedroom i would probably do a queen bed in here with maybe a little desk a little dresser depends on what your needs are this could obviously be an office as well and then you've got a closet space here super nice i love the floors that they chose by the way I love that it's not just all great everything. And then here is a full bathroom. Notice that all of this is one level, which we love. And then what they've done is they've done floor to ceiling tile here. They've kept the original tub. It's been resurfaced, looks awesome. And then love the choice in tile. And then you've got this little vanity area, little vanity nook space. And then if we keep walking this way, we have a master primary suite. Again, love the natural light here. King size bed on this wall is where I would put it. You could do a TV over there if you do TVs in your bedroom. And then maybe a little chair. And then you've got a closet here as well. And then look at this little accent. You've got this wood barn door. Loving that. Which goes into the bathroom. You've got two vanities here. And then you've got a toilet and a walk-in shower, which has tile um, floor to ceiling tile. Super nice with a little shelving. Love that. Love the light. Love how nice and bright it is. So that's the primary bedroom. And then if we go this way, back through the kitchen, back through the kitchen here. And this is the laundry room drop zone. You could easily add shelving here if you wanted some pantry space, but this has access to a screen and porch to the front and then a back deck. Again, this house has tons of natural light. It feels just super airy, 
which I love. So washer, dryer here. Again, I would probably put some shelving here, um, hang coats, shoes, etc. You could also do it on this door over here. And then you have this little porch, which is screened in, which I'm obsessed with. So a little morning coffee here, stay away from the mosquitoes, you know, all the things. And then this is your front yard. So we love that. And then if we go back this way, we have a back deck so you could grill out here and again your like path into the kitchen is right there so you could totally grill out back here hang out get some sun you might fence it in for the doggies if you had them which what I, what i do love about that is this goes right into this laundry space so again you know for dogs and keeping things clean they come right into the laundry room which we love and then you've got you know a decent backyard so you could add a place out, add a fence, whatever, and you have tons of space. So super cute house, definitely something to consider. I love that it's all new everything. I love that it's in South Knox. We are on Kimberlin Heights. So if you know South Knox, Kimberlin Heights is kind of, I don't, I don't know if the word is, the right word is famous, but it is a well-known South Knox road, which is awesome. Look at that, so good, right? So anyways, that is all for this week's Tuesday tour and I will see you next Tuesday.